This is Trey with verticaljumpprime.com slash elite secrets. In this video, you're going to find out how to handle a basketball better. When dribbling a basketball, there are a few tips you need to remember. A great piece of advice to help you handle the basketball a lot easier will be to dribble the basketball low and with great power. The reason why this is important is because as long as you dribble the basketball low to the ground, your defender will have a difficult time trying to take the basketball. And if they do try to swipe the basketball from you, you'll have an opportunity to cross over and get to the basket for an easy layup. If you dribble the basketball with power and dribble the basketball low, not only is it difficult for any opponents to take the ball, but your defender will be fearful to steal the basketball mainly because you're dribbling the basketball so low and also you're dribbling the basketball with power, which makes it hard for the defense to steal the basketball. Never show the defense any fear. Fear is weakness, and you want to control or even eliminate your weaknesses. Fear is something that may be difficult to get rid of, but it is possible to control it even if you're having problems eliminating the issue. Whenever you're dribbling the basketball, you should look your defender in the eyes. This is a way to show your defender that you're confident, and your defender may be cautious when deciding to reach for a steal or try to guard you too tight. If you want to handle the basketball significantly better, you need to become an expert at stable and also speed of movement dribbling. An example of stable dribbling would be dribbling the basketball in the same space regardless of whether you're doing a traditional dribble or crossover move. Furthermore, an example of a speed and movement dribble would be dribbling the basketball up and down the basketball court. A number of people mainly practice one single form of dribbling. So, for example, some people just will go in their garage and just dribble the basketball between their legs, do crossovers behind their back. But they will, they don't go out and practice dribbling the basketball up and down the court and dribbling to the dribbling the basketball to go for a layup. You have to practice bringing the basketball down the court as well as dribbling the basketball in stationary um, situations. So what I'm trying to say is it's good to practice your ball handling in your garage if you don't have um, a basketball court or whatever, but it's also important to find a basketball court so you could practice dribbling the basketball with speed, you know, going up and down the basketball court without losing the basketball. When you're able to control your fear, increase your confidence, dribble the basketball with power and dribble the basketball low and also improve your speed and movement dribbling you're going to begin to witness an increase in your ball handling skills put these tips into practice whenever you're handling the basketball and you will begin to elevate your ball handling ability so if you like what you learned in this video and you want to learn even more want to learn how to handle the basketball like it's on a string click the link in the description or go to www.verticaljumpprime.com slash elite secrets to get your free report that will reveal the training secrets of the basketball elite thanks for watching this video and subscribe if you want more